Yo, what's up guys? Last video, I showed you how to make this soft UI effect uh, in light mode and also dark mode. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these uh, two little buttons so that you can just toggle between the two modes. Cool. And if you just want to jump straight to the code, then I've linked my uh, GitHub in the description so you guys can just check that out. Sweet, let's make this thing. Okay, so this is just stemming off from the last couple of videos. I've just got this Android guy, and currently it's in the light colors. Okay, so let's add some couple uh, buttons. Okay, so we can just toggle between the two. Sweet. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is this container which is just this Android guy. I'm gonna wrap him in a column. And every column needs children in it. Okay, and I'm just gonna place my container inside there. Okay, so if I control save, hopefully everything is the same and it's not. Okay, so let's add, let's come over here and in the column, we're gonna add a little property. Okay, so this one, main axis alignment. And we want to align this starting from the center. Cool. So yeah, that's what we want. And the whole point of this column is to add some buttons beneath it. Okay, so, uh, whoops, we don't want it there. We want it in here. Okay, so under the container, let's add a flat button. Um, so we've got unpressed and child. So unpressed for now, I'm just gonna say, whoops. I'm just gonna do it like this so we can kind of fill out what the unpressed function is later. And for the child, let's say, let's give it a text and call this dark. Cool. And there's our little button. Let's make this look more like a button and Let's give it a color. Color, let's say black. And I'm just gonna make this text color. I'm gonna make this text color white. Cool. Um, at any time, if you feel like your code is getting a little um, messed up like it's all working fine but the um, ordering it ordering of it is not very well done then you can use you can right click and click on this free format code with that formatting and then it will kind of just clean it up for you okay so that comes in pretty handy okay so I've got this dark button let's just copy and paste this button and make another one and we'll call it light and let's change the text color to black and let's invert all this cool okay so here's our two little buttons um, to put them side by side which is what I prefer I'm gonna wrap these two buttons in a row okay so a row is very similar to a column except for the fact that it's sideways um, so in the row I'm just gonna put two of the children inside okay so that looks a bit better but it's on the left hand side so let's use that same function uh, the same property that we found in the column main axis alignment and we want to make this in the middle as well great okay now this seems a little bit too close um, to the Android so this row let's wrap this row in a padding widget Okay, so essentially we can add a little padding around the whole row. And the one I want is only. Okay, so we want a padding only on the top side, let's say around 50. And let's put our child back inside. Let's see how that looks. Cool, okay, that looks a bit better. Now if you want a gap in between 
these two buttons as well, then you can just wrap each of these buttons in uh, a padding widget, just like we did here. Okay, but for now, I think this looks fine. Okay, so now we've got all the user interface set up. Now we just need to uh, sort out this bit. So when our button is pressed, what's going to happen? Okay, so well, what we want to happen is we want to just switch from the two modes, right? So since that is a binary situation, I'm going to come up here and we're going to make a boolean. Okay, boolean just means one or the other, like on or off. Um, and let's call this dark mode. And for now, we'll set it at false so that it's just in light mode now. Okay, so when I press the button, what I want to do is I want to flick between the two, right? So dark mode, um, if I press dark mode, right, so that's this button here. If I press it, I want this to, I want this to change and I'm going to have to set the state. Okay, and let's change dark mode to true. Okay, now similarly, let's just grab this bit of code. If the light button is pressed, then you want dark mode to be false. Okay, now the whole uh, point of this set state is something that's kind of very integral in Flutter. Okay, so if you see this widget that, we've, that we're building in, it's a state widget, which just means that every time we set the state, it's going to recompile this code. Okay, so which is which which is what we're going to need. Okay, because we're just going to have to flick between dark mode on and off. Okay, cool. So let's just control save this, make sure everything's fine. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so depending on whether dark mode is true or false, we're going to change the colors. Okay, so like I said, don't worry too much about the the details of all the code, I've got it all in my GitHub if uh, for reference. Okay, but the main idea, this is a very useful bit of code. So I'm going to say, okay, background color, depending on my dark mode, I want you to use colors.gray850 or I want you to use that one. Okay, so what this is saying is if dark mode um, is true, then let's use this, and if it's not true, then use that. Okay, so hopefully that sounds fair. I'm just going to save this again just to see if it works. So if I hit dark, yep, then the background changes. If I hit light, then the background changes back to light, right? So back and forth. Okay, so we, we can just incorporate this bit of code here and come and change all the colors. So in this color as well, so that's the box decoration, so that's the inner part there. So again, depending on if dark mode is true or false, if it's true, let's go for this color. And if it's false, let's go for this color. Okay. And I think the last couple things we need to change is just the shadow. Um, which is yeah. So depending on if it's uh, dark mode or not, if it is, let's change. This is the bottom right shadow, right? So let's change this to nine hundred. Um, and I think this one needs to be five hundred over here. Let's change this to white and change this to 800. Okay, I think that's all. Okay, oh yeah, that's the last thing. I need to change the Android as well. So this guy, currently, I've just got him set to black. We want him, depending on dark mode, if you are dark mode, then we actually want the Android to be white. And if you're not in dark mode, then you can be black. Sweet, that's what we want. Okay, so let's test if this works. So, light, dark, light, dark. Cool. Okay, so yeah, that's essentially how you how you implement it. 
Thanks.